Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, I was watching this demonstration here, IPython in depth, high productivity, interactive, and parallel Python. Um, it's very, it's a very good tutorial. It's almost three hours long and probably uh, deserves um, some some healthy editing into little bits and pieces, which I will try to do with this small demonstration, uh, where I will take my console right here. I take the existing kernel which I pull out by using connect info and I'll take that piece of information existing kernel I copy that and I go to a terminal and I'll, I'm running IPython 3 and control shift V to paste that in and when I hit enter it should fire up an instance of the um, a new instance of a new instance of this of my attempt to chop some of the tutorial into little pieces for my edification. Uh, it's running it, and if I go up here, I there is the um, the figure F is this. Um, the object F is this graph. It's not going to display in the console, but it should tell me that it's still here. And it is. Um, figure, and that's the, that's the memory location of this figure. Um, I could also try, well, actually, I should be able to run history from here as well. And history. And there's all of the history. Um, for today. Now, actually, if I run and I can use the arrow key, which is nice, and see if I pre uh, that should give us the hit the numbers of the history. It does. So this is uh, the input for one, input for two, input for three, input for uh, the fourth command, this is the fifth, sixth, etc. This is the ten commands I've used on this and this history for today. This is just today. It doesn't include the history from yesterday. I imagine there's a place where I could find the history from yesterday, but that's not as important as being able to essentially take this notebook and instantiate it, if that's the correct phrase, in a new terminal, which could be very useful if I'm working, if multiple people are working on the same notebook for example, in a remote situation, because theoretically, this existing kernel could very well um, have a unique ID on the web. Let's see if, in fact, I can use that. If there's a way to um, share this kernel, no. Um, that's probably a part of the next part of his speech right here. Python in-depth, high productivity. Highly recommend it. Take a look. Thank you for watching and happy computing.